Hi, this is Zuster Spark here. Today's um, quick tutorial will be learning about a special type of instruction block called the comparator instruction blocks. Um, there's six of them all up and each one um, compares two integer, not really integer values but integer, data, date types. They compare them together and depending on which equation it uses uh, we're going to get a certain output from it. So let's check out which comparators we have. Okay, so we got the less than. So if the value of input 1 is less than the value of input 2, then it's going to energize the output 1. Okay, that's less than and equals to. Difference between these two is, um, okay, this will only energize if it's lower than. If it's complete, if it's both the values are the same, so like value 1 is 5, value 2 is 5, it won't energize. Only if like input 1 is less than input 2. This one, this one does both. If it's less than or equal to, then it will energize. Okay, and this one, okay, you don't see this in maths formulas anywhere. Um, this is, this is even my first time seeing it in a PLC um, programming module. So it's less than or bigger than. So basically, the two inputs cannot be the same. If it's the same, then it's not going to energize. Equals is common sense. Okay, this is just the opposite. This is greater than, so input 1 has to be greater than input 2. And this is greater than or equal to. Okay, so let's see them at work. 1. Okay, add a bit more rugs here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so delete this one. Okay, so we're going to create um, two inputs here just to play around with. To do that, double click the bottom half of input 1. And then up here, write input 1. And make it type integer. Okay. And we're going to make another one, input 2. And make it type integer as well, just so it's easier to play around with. Okay, as you can see, we got our local variable list here, input 1, input 2. We'll add an initial value to it, so we'll make them start at 1. Okay, so we'll add another instruction block here. See, bigger than or equals to, input 1, input 2, alright, input 2. Okay, another one. One, two, okay, larger than input one, input two, and then equals input one, input two. Alright, it's a bit draining, but we're all learning here. Okay, so equals, and then look, don't worry about this one, it's basically the opposite of the first two we're going to use. So. I just want to show you guys how it actually works. Okay, so we can play around with it. I just want to add one more thing. So we're going to add a addition to it. So that and another one. Okay, addition. So put input one here and I want to add one to it. And input two here. And I want to add one to it. Okay, one. Okay, input one plus one equals input one. So basically, it's a, as I say in programming world, an iteration. So okay, input two plus one equals input two, and we add some um, push buttons at the start. So bang. Another one. And download. Okay, as we can see, um the input one's one, input two's one. The only one's energized is equal and less than and equal to because equal obviously the it makes that statement true, so um the output one's gonna energize. Um since they're not equal 
since they equal to each other, this is false, and since input one is not lower than input two, that's false. Okay, so let's push a few push buttons here. Um, these are the, of course, arithmetic blocks, addition. Um, if you don't know how to use them, please um, check back to my other video, quick tutorial video on um, addition arithmetic blocks. So I'm going to push this push button and, okay, it's going to add a few pulses. So since, okay, since they're not equal, this energizes, it's not lower than, so that's not energized, it's not equal to either, so that's not energized. Okay, so let's add the input to. Okay, so now it's the other way around. Okay, input one is lower than input two, so it's energized. Um, it's lower than or equal to, so that's energized. It's not equal to each other, so that's energized. And it's not equal to energize to that, so it's not gonna energize. It's false basically. Okay, so this is just a Sparky. If you have any further questions, please comment on the um section below. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, if you wanted more information about how to um, how to use strings and incorporate dates into the equation, then have a look at the written content that goes into more detail. But besides that, have a great day and yeah, keep thriving.